Hey guys, it's Rushy here. How are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Got a it's a pretty detailed video today I'm sharing with you. It's about so it's specifically for players that use V Skill 1 and V Trigger 1. I think predominantly that's the combination many people use. I am exploring V Trigger 2 now quite a bit. Um, v Skill 2 I'm still not entirely convinced on, but um, it has its uses and people some people tend to really like it. But for the most part, like I said, I think many people use V Skill 1 and V Trigger 1. Um, so this video is just about some optimization. It's particularly for more advanced players, I'd say. This is like very, um, you need a lot of awareness to get this level of optimization and you need the muscle memory as well. So there's some situations that aren't quite normal, but you can get more damage from them if you are aware and you've got that muscle memory built. So um, that said, there's no reason why beginners and intermediate players can't not watch this and try some of the tech. Some of the advice will be really good for you guys, I think. So I've got it broken down into sections. So I'm just going to fly through each section in as much detail and as clear as possible, but also as quickly as I can to make this video um, not too long. So the first one is the corner shimmy situation. So the common, like the most bread and butter shimmy that people go for with Ken is the stand heavy punch, so when they whiff throw, stand heavy punch, like Tatsu, heavy punch DP. Let me just put the. Um, my son's been playing Street Fighter, so all this is all messed up. Key display on and attack data. So the max damage you'll get with one bar, and that works mid screen. It's 2, 5, 3. If you shimmy someone with stand heavy punch, generally we walk back, stand heavy punch from there. And we can confirm into V skill um, when we see them with. That's how you confirm. Uh, what I want to show you is is the Lion Breaker shimmy. So this is nothing new. So you go for the same shimmy. Let's say you get a knockdown. They wake up throw. You step back a little bit. And you go for Lion Breaker. Now the common thing people do here is... Oops, wrong one. They do something like that. They do Lion Breaker Step Kick into EXDP, which is slightly more damage than the combo we showed at the very beginning, the Stand Heavy Punch combo. However, I think what you can do it's better, this is corner specific by the way, is once you get that shimmy, if you use EX Fireball instead of Step Kick EXDP, you get a Heavy Punch DP after the EX Fireball. Now this is nothing new. But the shimmy situation is does more damage. You can see there, it's two seven five damage, a lot more than the original combo I showed you, which is two five three, I believe. So you knock them down, go for shimmy instead of I auto party to the V skill. There you can see, and you do EX fireball. And it also gives you the chance to spend two bars and go EX DP. So for two bars, you get two eight nine. Now that's just significantly more damage than the first combo. That's one of the reasons why I think this is very good. The other reason is the range on this sand heavy punch. This is an eight frame, sorry, nine frame startup move. It's quite stubby. Whereas stand medium kick is um, it's eight frame startup, and you can see Ken moves forward. The range is actually very good on this. So not only has it got a good range, but Ken moves forward with the attack. You can see there. So where something like this will whiff from this kind of range. You can see you can get a more powerful shimmy and you can get more damage from it as well. I think this is very good. So that's topic number one. Again, that's corner only by the way. I'm going to go straight into topic two now and that is target combo into step kick activate. Okay, this is a real simple one. We've covered this a few times on the streams. Um, something, something that I wasn't too aware of. So basically, the situations where you get target combo into step kick, uh, it's a common... So when you when you raw confirm um, target combos, that's one, that's two. The easy confirm, well I say easy confirm, but the most easy follow up, it's kind of a lazy follow up, is to go for step kick there. Not optimal, but it's very common to do that. I do this a lot. And I like the old key get off it as well. But when you activate like this, let me show you what happens now. A, 
common follow up is Light Punch DP, EXDP. That's the best one bar follow up to go for, I think. And it does 257 damage. I did not know that you can get Light Punch DP, Heavy Punch DP. You can do that um, every time. Just make sure your Light Punch DP is instant and then you get your Heavy Punch DP afterwards. Um, it is a little less damage than the EX combo. So if you want the more damage and you want to spend the bar, go for the EX. But um, it's better than doing something like this. Just going heavy punch DP. Not even, I don't think all the hits connected then either. That's better. That was more hits. We can see it's slightly less damage. If you want, if you don't want to spend meter, but you want to get good Oki, then Heavy Kick Tatsu. The damage is a little less than the Light Punch DP, Heavy Punch DP, but you do get better Oki after it. You're much closer to the opponent. Um, that's pretty much it for that one. Quite straightforward. And again, I've covered that on the streams. So um, if you did miss out on any, any of the streams I was doing before COVID-19, then um, that's a, little, a good little catch up for you. Next topic is Step Kick Activate in the corner. So again, this is one of those things where it's, if you're not aware of this, you'd never know how to do it. When you do a V skill into step kick and you activate, the common follow-ups are heavy punch DP, which is commonly what I go for. I think the better follow-up is heavy kick tattoo. It's just easier to hit. The, he the, the heavy punch DP, I think there is a situation where one of the hits misses, so you get five hit combo rather than six, so you get less damage, but this, it's every time. So that's 162, which is not bad, really. Optimal, but no bar spend. You can't do light punch DP, heavy punch DP, it doesn't work. They have to be, it's weird with this. Let me show you something. This is a subtopic now. This is hard to do. This is weird, but if you get step kick while they're airborne, then you get light punch DP, heavy punch DP, I think. But it's really hard to do. And that's grounded. Ah. Oh no, you don't. That's interesting. Okay, I was wrong. I'll take that back. Uh, duh, 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 duh. So, if you got one bar, and this is again corner specific, if you got one bar of EX meter and you activate off the step kick, what you can do is EX fireball, heavy punch DP. And you can see there's already a significant buff in damage at um, 200. So you do the EX Fireball instantly and you Heavy Punch DP afterwards. And as you probably guessed, you get a two bar spend as well. So if you do EX Fireball, EX Tatsu, you get two, three, six damage. That's nearly a hundred, is it more? It's more than a hundred more damage than the, um, no it's not. It's just shy of a hundred compared to the no bar spend. That was 162, wasn't it? So 162 versus 236 for two bar. Yeah, it's a bit of it's a fair bit of meter and there is scaling because of the V-trigger activation, but look at the potential damage you can get. So where you may be able to finish a round, um, if normally you'd probably do this, wouldn't you? If you want to spend one bar. You can now potentially spend two bars for more damage. So again, really good optimization there. That's topic number three. Number four is mid-screen line breaker V-trigger one. Okay, yeah. I remember this. So again, this is something I've showed on the channel before. When you get a ranged um, Lion Breaker combo mid-screen, when you confirm the medium kick into heavy kick, the common follow-ups would normally be heavy punch DP. The reason we don't go Tatsu is because the Tatsu wicks half the time. That's why we don't do Tatsu. So heavy punch DP, no bar. And if you've got one bar of meter, Generally, we do EX Tatsu. EX Tatsu in V-Trigger 1, one thing I will say about this is, if you're on the left-hand side, well, the if you're backed in the corner, I would never spend EX Tatsu when you're backed into the, back near to the corner because this Oki sucks. You've, you've lost Oki there. You may have pushed them to the other side of the screen, but they can still... There's no gap that becoming closed there because you've got a double dash to get in and you, you don't even get Oki there. I think you may get... a 
double a single V skill maybe. I think you may get a V skill stand heavy punch or it may even be V skill stand heavy kick. But I wouldn't recommend going for that. It's too far out. So when you're in V trigger one and you do a ranged um, line breaker, commonly we do EX tattoo. But I recommend if you're at the left hand side of the screen, do EX DP. Oh, sorry, if you're if you're back to the corner, do EX DP because you'll get better Roki after it. But that's not the tech. The tech is if you get a ranged um, line breaker, do medium kick tattoo. And you can see there, the reason for that is, is because then when you spend the one bar, this is specifically if you want to spend one bar a meter, you then get EXTP. So be wary of that one bar situation. So when you get the ranged, to recover this, when you get the ranged line breaker and you want to spend one bar, rather than this or the EX tattoo, go for medium kick tattoo, which will cause like a weird juggle state, to bounce up, EXTP. You cannot get heavy punch DP here. I don't think it works. No, it doesn't work. I don't think any other DPs work either. No. CA may work, but that's I wouldn't really... It should work, I think. I've never really gone for that. It's weird, medium kick tattoo has a real strange cancel window in V-Trigger 1. That's not bad to be fair. 4, 2, 3. I'm terrible at doing this combo. The tricky one to get that is, you have to be a bit closer I think. So yeah, so that's the one, that's the one bar spend. Uh, you can also do light kick tatsu into either EXDP or EX tatsu. That works as well. But the damage isn't as good and the Oki as I mentioned isn't as good either. It makes no sense to go for that. Go for the medium kick tatsu. That's interesting. So you do get heavy punch DP after light kick tatsu, even at range. Okay, so that's that. And there is a part two to this. If you're in V-Trigger 1 and you land, let's say you do Lion Break and they dash in at you. Now this is really hard to do, but it is possible to get even better damage if they're close range. And what you do there is, you do EX Fireball into EX Tatsu. Again, you still have the problem with Oki after you do the EX Tatsu if you're back into the corner. But again, if you're looking to close out a round and they dash into you when you've got two bars to spend, that's a great way to do it. That will take a lot of awareness to do that, but it's good to know that is an option. Um, the same doesn't apply to Chim Buster. I think at range, let's have a look. Okay, that does work. You would never really need to go for that though. And the reason be you wouldn't have to do the medium kick tattoo there is because the confirm here is it's a V skill, light punch DP, EX DP, and that does mad damage. So you never really need to use the tattoo situation there. Uh, even close range with Chimbuster, even though you can get oops, the um, same combo with the close range. Again, it makes no sense to go for that because it's one bar spend. So it's sorry, it's two bar spend. It's poor Oki, and it's actually less damage compared to this. The V skill light punch DP EX DP. So Chimbuster does not apply here. It's only Lion Breaker with the ranged combo and the max range uh, and the close range combo. So that's the close range combo optimized and the ranged one. What I will say is with the ranged one, if you if you get if you're kind of in the middle and you get this kind of knockdown, after, well, look at Ryu's body. Look how high he goes in the air when you're a bit closer. You see that? He didn't bounce up as high, did he? You watch, watch again. Watch the way the medium kick tattoo connects. It's quite early on. Whereas this, if it's at range, he props up a lot higher. See that? You can clearly recognise the difference between the two so um, a lot to take in there but 
Essentially, it's the ranged combo, one bar spend, medium kick tatsu, EX DP, and the close range combo, EX fireball, EX tatsu, for line breaker in Vidrigal 1. Cool, take a breath after that. Um, stun combo, optimal stun combo when you're in V-Trigger 1. Let's say I get a hit, stun. The optimal one bar spend here is Jump, heavy attack, stand heavy punch, V skill, light punch DP, EX DP. You can see there after I stunned with the light punch, it was 374 damage. If I go for the typical one we go for, that's what I normally see people do. You can see it's ever so slightly less damage. So get used to doing jump heavy, stand heavy punch, V skill, light punch DP, EX DP when you're in V-Trigger 1. That's V-Trigger 1 specific. A nice bit of um, tech for you mid-screen when you want to get um, the combo after stun. And you've got one bar to spend, of course. If you've got no bar to spend, then you've got, I think, I think that's optimal. I think it is. 304. Oops. Just shy. There is something like this you can do, I think. Ah, that's interesting. So that's more optimal. Okay. So when. Okay, I, did, I never knew that. So when you stun them. How much did the other combo do with the one bar? That was 374, wasn't it? Something like that. Yes, that's clearly more damage, one bar. So what you do is, is you do crouching medium punch, back medium punch after the jump heavy. Like it tatsu, heavy punch DP. That's really good, it's a good find. Again, your Oki won't be quite as strong there compared to this. Stun first. That's just, that's slightly less damage, but it's much better OK. So you've got to decide between the two. But that's really good find actually. I never knew that. So a more optimal what zero bar and one bar spend when you stun mid screen uh, in V trigger one. It's a nice find. Right, this is the topic that uh, this is hard. This is very hard to explain, but I'll do my best. All right, I need to set. All right, let's turn the stun off. Let's keep the health gar health gauge full, infinite, and my V meter V. Right, cool. Right. Yeah, it's a tough topic to explain. So when you get pressure in the corner. I think a very good string to use is Crouch and Light Punch, Crouch and Light Punch, Stand, stand Light Kick. Now we've mentioned this many times on the channel before, but if you do the... I set the dummy to guard. Guard all. And do wake up. Sorry. I want him to mash. That's it, a three frame. So... Just to recap quickly, so there's various frame traps here in this sequence. So this is the sequence I want to show, show you. That sequence, the so light punch, light punch, stand light kick, EX fireball. The reason we use this frame trap is because it traps at many points and all points can be com confirmed off of. So let me show you each frame trap uh, in itself. So. The light punch, light punch has to be staggered. If you're doing too quick, it's a true string. If you stagger them, you can see that he gets frame trapped. So the frame trap here is the crouch and light punch into stand light kick. If the Ryu doesn't mash after the first light punch, he mashes after the second light punch, this happens. The stand light kick hits. So that's the frame trap. Now when that happens, 
this is what will happen after the X Fireball. You'll get a juggle. If the Stan Lyke like hits at the end and you get X Fireball, you get a, a situation like that. Now, don't worry about the trade too much, yeah, because if I was set if I was to set Ryu to do a light kick, let's say, let's say they delay the light punch or they don't have access to a three frame. Watch what happens now. Let's do all, all, them all over again. Oops. First frame trap. Staggered light frame trap there. The second light punch into light kick. Frame trap there. And the light kick into EX Fireball. You can see it frame traps again. So the combo is if I turn off guard all, this is the combo. And all hits connect, including the EX Fireball. And as I broke down to you earlier on, each section of that combo has potential to frame trap. There's three, so light punch to light punch, that's frame trap one. Light punch, light kick, frame trap two. Light kick, EX Fireball, frame trap three. That's three, three places that, could, that, that um, you can frame trap. This is a great string to end matches with where you think the opponent will mash in a panic. So you just continue pressure until they mash. You do the EX Fireball, and if they block the EX Fireball, then you've, you're plus three, because EX Fireball in Vitro 1 is plus three. Now, the conversion here, it can vary a lot. And this is what's tricky to understand. So let's put guard all on. Let's break down each situation bit by bit. So if you get the first frame trap, you can get heavy punch DP. Now, the thing with this is, if you're late on the heavy punch DP, I thought that was late. Let's try it again. You can whiff, and that can happen a lot of the times. This is the reason why I do not recommend using crouch light punch, stand light punch. If you're looking to set this up in a knockdown situation, I don't recommend doing that. The reason for that is the stand light punch pushes you back more. So let me show you what happens now with the EX Fireball in that situation. You see that? Now the timing on that wasn't actually much much different to the timing I used on the two crouching lights. But look how the Heavy Punch DP whiffed. Now if I use that same timing again, crouch, light punch, crouch, light punch. Get my inputs right. You see that, it's much more consistent. You can get it with the stand light punch. But you have to do it. Oh, so there you go. I thought you have to do it straight away, but even there, even it's missing. So all I'm trying to show here is, is that the stand light punches make this more difficult. Um, and you've got to react to the X Fireball very quickly when you get that frame trap. If the um, if you're unsure about this situation and you're not sure if the heavy punch DP will hit. If you've got an extra bar and meter, you can do the X tattoo, but again, that's a little inconsistent with this. I find it really weird. You can hit it, but it's very easy to whiff. So the logical answer here is, is to go EXDP. If you're unsure and you've got one extra bar and meter to spend, that has a real good hit rate after the EX Fireball. The reason we don't do Light Punch DP here, because you can get, if I show you this, if I do... So that was just crouch and light punch, stand light kick, EX Fireball, not two light punches. In that situation, you get a light punch DP, heavy punch DP, and you can see there the damage is huge. However, if you do the light punch, light punch, stand light kick, EX Fireball, I believe light punch DP whiffs. Yeah, see that? So you don't ever go for light punch DP. It's heavy punch DP or EX DP. Um, be aware of that. And... If the whole situation is blocked like this, you are at range, but you are also um, plus three. So plus three into crouch and medium kick. Uh, that's a three frame gap. So let's see if I can do this. So if I do guard recovery, I'm going to. Do, so I'm going to get Ryu to do a stand light punch after the EX Fireball, yeah? 
I may even do Crouch and Medium Punch, actually. I think Crouch and Medium Punch will be better. You'll see why. Because Crouch and Medium Kick may go underneath his Light Punch. So let's try this again. It's a bit tricky to do. So after the X... So he's blocked the whole string. I've done EX Fireball. And Ryu really will mash 3 frame now. After the EX Fireball hits. And I'm going to do a Medium Punch instantly. Yeah, I thought so. So it frame traps. So even though you're plus three, but at range, the crouch and medium punch hits. We can try it with the crouch and medium kick now, just to see. But at that kind of range, crouch and medium kick may actually not work. All right, same situation again. Okay, that also works. And it's probably easy to confirm off the Crouch and Medium Kick into Like Itatsu than the Crouch and Medium Punch. So there you go. So that's it's a little complicated that situation, but it's awareness. It's awareness of the risks involved when you're going into lights, into EX Fireball, and you want to get follow-ups. There's many times um, I see EX Fireball used in the corner, and people think they can use Light Punch DP it whiffs. They miss the Heavy Punch DP. So that's all this is trying to show trying to show how the frame traps work and also it's trying to show how quick you have to react um, again this is like signature rush G tech but one thing I like to use is EX Fireball at this kind of range I look at the um, where the time is so obviously we're in training mode so time's infinity now but if you look at where the timer should be if Ken's head is in in between that box there so that's like the max range I'll do this if you do a raw EX Fireball Ken can follow up with EX Tatsu. That's a, that's a legit confirm. It does massive damage for 2-bar. Um, with this, that's a good example of awareness. Because if I'm, any, if I'm further back like this... Oops, not me to. There is a range where this doesn't work. Good deal, but it's insane how good this is. So I think maybe like the head in between the stun bar. Maybe it's a little further back. Damn, it's insane. Alright. Put head at the back of the stun bar, so the range is much better than I thought on this. Okay, this is ridiculous. This is a full screen punish here. So, I think what makes this difficult is it's the reaction time. I'm kind of autopiloting it. Let's try and react to it. The X5 will hit him. Damn, it still works. <laughs> Let's try this range. I did not think it worked from this far. They must have buffed EX Tatsu in the net code buff, uh, net code patch. Yeah, so that's a little. That's more re realistic in terms of timing. It's never going to work. So that's why I kind of stick to this range. I think this is much better because you can react then. The, but the reuse body will be in the air for enough enough time for you to react and connect. Like that. That's a reaction. Um, again, that's a good example of what I'm trying to illustrate here. This kind of range. There are situations where your combos should work but won't work because of the range. Um, this would be another example, say like here, EX Fireball. You're never going to connect DP from there, so you've got to know the range of where you can connect the Light Punch DP and the Heavy Punch DP after the EX Fireball. And that's all that section was about, so understand how the frame traps work, recognise where to use it. I think that's a great way to end rounds, the extended frame trap situation. Light, light, light kick. EX Fireball and know which follow-ups are reliable and you'll be good. So that's that section covered. Uh, that was the one I was dreading to be fair because that's it's a lot of information to take in but it's really straightforward if you think about it. Right guys I've got a new find that I want to share with you. I'm very excited about this one. So I don't know where this will be useful that's the only problem here. Now what I thought about was where you use stand light punch and then bat medium punch as a frame trap and also stand light punch, stand medium punch. Stand light punch and stand medium punch is an interesting combo. It combos on counter hit. See there? And you can react to that. So you can get Tatsu, you can get like medium kick Tatsu EXDP. Like that you can get 
heavy punch DPC, eh? So you can react, if you're aware, you can react to a lot of these situations. What's interesting in the corner is, if I'm, say if I get Ryu, if I knock Ryu down, yeah? And I do stand light punch, stand medium punch, EX fireball. Now that's a very strange, meaty situation to go for. But watch this, if you pay close attention, gotta get the timing right. see how that all comboed so I've got a nine hit combo there nearly 300 damage and I got uh, and that was one bar spend if yeah, and you also can spend two bars of course as well to get you more damage nearly 300 now you can also go into V trigger from this and you can get really good damage you do medium punch DP the X fireball heavy punch DP three or nine and you can spend the whole lot. Whoops. Yeah, it's that two. Two, sorry, three, two, one. Damage. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. I'm still trying to figure out where this is useful. So, if they wake up buttons, you get the stand light punch into the stand medium punch, EX fireball. Which, so you can confirm off this. If I were to get Ryu, so it's turn count it off. This is a bit of a weird topic because I haven't figured this out for myself yet. Let's get Ryu to wake up with 3 frame. Yep, perfect. I think that's a quick rise as well. Yeah, cool. So if this happens, you can confirm that sequence into EX Fireball. Uh, sorry, so the EX Fireball you can confirm into the Tatsu because you'll see the whole sequence hit. So you can confirm that. If you hear the light punch hit, the medium punch hit, you know the EX Fireball is going to hit. The light punch obviously has to be counter hit, but after the EX Fireball hits, once you recognize the counter hit, you know the like it tattoo will work. And this gives you, it's good damage. So that's the first situation. The second situation is, if your opponent is pressing delayed buttons, so they're not pressing buttons instantly after block some, but say like when an opponent's blocking, they're just mashing jab out every now and again then you'll get this situation so if I set Ryu to do crouch and medium punch the reason why I'm using crouch and medium punch I'm just trying to emulate the timing that's all but let's think they're delayed so they're delaying their button presses I'm gonna set dummy to guard all I think that's right Card or yeah. I was waking up buttons, I don't want him to do that. Let's try this again. You see that? You see how the stand medium punch into EX Firewall connected? It's because it's frame trapping. Ah, that was interesting. There we go. It's because I wasn't point blank, that's why I had to walk forward a little bit first. And you get the conversion again. This is what I'm trying to highlight here. So, if they're delaying their buttons and you do stand light punch, stand medium punch, EX fireball, you can convert off the EX fireball again, you can react. See? So, there is logic here. And if they block the whole sequence out, There is still a chance to frame trap, so let's let's go for a more realistic frame trap. So you cover, so you get a meaty combo. You get a, you get a counter hit meaty specific, specific combo that you can you can confirm off into even more damage. You can frame trap delay buttons, and if they block the whole sequence out, you're still plus one, and being plus one, you. Um, can frame trap again obviously it's hard to frame trap if they've got a three frame so if they've got a three frame you kind of you either press and you trade so i can show you this if you want actually this is what happens they've got a three frame and they're mashing it after the ex fireball should get a trade my timing's right that's it so that'll happen so you guys know the other tech here. You can, if you've got V trigger stocked, you 
can do the like it tattoo V trigger. You plus one, and you win that exchange. So you can do that. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it, really. So you can get a counted specific meaty combo into massive damage. You can get the frame trap of the delaying buttons into stand medium punch EX fireball. Can't show you now. Uh, confirm it to like your tattoo, then either heavy punch DP, EX DP, or you do the medium punch DP, VTC it into EX fireball, heavy punch DP, which is a nice looking combo as well. Or if they block the whole thing, you plus one, and you can potentially frame trap again. It works in V trigger as well. That's what's really nice about this. So in V trigger, if I. Yeah, so if I do this now. Oh yeah, so I need to wake up buttons, don't I? So wake up buttons first. Oops. Mashing at the menu. Again, you can convert into huge damage. You get the light punch DP, heavy punch D DP conversion for nearly 400 damage. If they press delay button, it's exactly the same situation as before. You just get more damage in V trigger one. Oh no, still waking up buttons. Turn that off. Yeah, guard recovery, guard or um let's try that again. You can see again big damage. Huge damage to be fair. Um that's that couldn't have stunned. I think that's stunned. I was gonna say. So nearly that's even close to 400 damage. And then again, if they block the whole sequence and they mash three frames, so god all three frame this time, no wake up on. Uh, if they block the whole sequence, you're plus three now. Oops, plus three, ah, oh, plus three at range, I can never remember this. Plus three at range, I think bat medium punch would work. Yeah, yeah, that medium punch. Confirm chin buster. If you're not comfortable with that, then you can get. Uh, I'm trying to think of a. Oh yeah, you can do something like that. Crouch and like it, stand like punch, like it tatsu, into light punch DP, heavy punch DP. So you can see there, um, the tech is again the meaty counter hit conversion you get. The frame trap with the delay buttons between the light punch and the stand medium punch. And then the plus one situation after the X fireball. And it's even stronger in V trigger because you're plus three after the fire, after the EX fireball and because you get more damage as well. The EX fireball connecting in the corner will give you light punch DP, heavy punch DP. The reason this tech came around is because I was interested to know um, if the medium punch EX fireball kept Ken point blank range. Which it does, so if I turn guard or off now, turn that off. Now this is a really good sequence because it, it's weird, like if I do this with crouch and meaning punch, I don't get a follow up. I'm not close enough to connect the like it tattoo to combo. It's that medium punch. Ken does not get pushed back after the cancel, it's weird. You get pushed back if you don't cancel. But if you cancel it, you stay point blank, or pretty much point blank. So what's interesting about this is, I get the stand light punch and medium punch. So if I do that in a, in a slow sequence, try this again. Because I'm using the stand medium punch, I'm canceling on this. The pushback doesn't really matter because I'm getting pushed back in because of the way it cancels. Stand medium punch cancels are very weird with Ken. He seems to like, go forward after he cancels rather than push backwards and i think that's to complement things like this like stand medium punch tattoo it tries to ensure you get the tattoo after it you only ever normally whiff that if you you do stand medium punch to whiff punish but you whiff punish like a really long range button and the tattoo will whiff them so that's why i got that's where the idea for this tech came from but in terms of where you use it it's where you've got the read on a wake up button delay buttons, I think that's where it's most powerful really. 
that's what your character, your opponent's doing, mashing buttons on wake up and sort of using obscure, delayed presses between strings. That could be a way to blow it up. The gap between stand light punch and stand medium punch, if that's on block, stand medium punch, is, um, it's, um, five frames. If this connects into stand lock, stand medium punch, plus three, seven frame, two frame gap. So yeah, that will even, that will counter hit. So even if you don't get the count hit on the light punch and then mash after getting hit, that will count it into EX Fireball and you still get the Tatsu in the DP. So to be fair, that's a bit of a complicated one as well. Again, again, this is why it's an advanced video. So try it out for yourself to understand it. That's the best way to, to learn this stuff. Try it out for yourself. Use the concepts explained and it should make a bit more sense. And if still unsure, just ask questions. Cool, guys, the very last one now. This is a real nice, simple one. Um, well, we'll do the, do the background first. It's how to make juggles in the corner using dive kick a little easier. So when you get dive kick, EX dive kick in mid screen, the most optimal thing to do is, is to do instant chin, bu chin buster. Chin buster second, the second hit of it will connect and you do heavy kick tatsu. I don't use this enough, but this is what it looks like. I need to use that more, but I don't. The only reason why I don't really use it is because there are situations where the chin buster will whiff, um, but that's classed as optimal. What's that? Two, 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 seven. If I want to optimize this, I usually do raw EX Tatsu. But you can see even that two bar spend, it's less damage. You get more damage with the EX Tatsu if you do that. So that's that. But if you're in the corner, I don't think, especially if, they're, if their back is against the wall, the invisible wall, then that's not good to do this. It's weird. It's never, you can get some really good combos with it, but it's not great. I don't recommend it. What I think is better, it's simple and it helps optimize your damage, um, is to use like kick tatsu in the corner. So you do this. I messed it up first time. Why am I messing this up? Hmm. What? That's not what I want. Alright, I'm messing this up already. It's because I've forgotten the timing of it. Okay, yeah, that's it. Got it. I had to walk, I had to remind myself. So that's it. Master this timing. You always get three hits of heavy punch DP. Now, why I suggest using like your tattoo is because this can happen. If you do raw heavy punch DP, you can go underneath the corpse, the corpse, the body, and your damage is actually less. You have to really delay that, and you get one six. 196 damage. Um, you can get like sometimes only a few hits. Like that was a two hit, two hit heavy punch DP. So I got one three three damage. What the Lykit like Tatsu does is it ensures that your juggle gets the three hits, and also it gives you more damage 209. You can do medium kick Tatsu, but that's a little more hard to time, and I think you have to do. EXDP. See, it's a bit inconsistent. You don't get heavy punch DP there, so there's no one bar spend. This gives you the option. Do I spend one bar? Do I spend two bars? The damage is still good on two bars, two, two, five. Um, but yeah, if you want, if you want to get more damage and you're risking the timing, you can. See, that can happen as well. Yeah. That's why I don't recommend medium kick tattoo like this. What's also cool about this combo is you can get V trigger juggles by doing like Itatsu medium punch DP. So you can get something as ridiculous as this. That's not what I wanted. I've got to master the timing again. Again, it's a lot of meter, but you can get that kind of juggle. So just to repeat what you do there, you do the late like Itatsu medium punch DP VTC, EX Fireball, EX Tatsu, or you do EX DP, or you can do. Heavy punch DP. Whatever you want. That's actually more damage then. 
two, eight, nine. Okay, let me try this again. Oh no, that's more damage. Not by much though for an extra bar spent, so it's probably not worth it. Heavy punch DP does good damage. But yeah, it's just a way to simplify the dive kick situation. If you're never too sure, so what I used to do in like season two, season three, if I ever got a dive kick in the corner, I just did medium punch DP because it was really easy to connect. There was never any worry about going underneath the opponent with this. But again, the damage isn't great. To get heavy punch DP, you had to wait which is a little risky because in lag you may whiff or if you do it too early you go underneath um, so this is the, when I say whiff I mean this completely miss too early go underneath so this really helps the situation just do a like your tatsu into heavy punch DP um, or you have the option of PX DP and if you're really swanky, you can go for the uh, the V-Trigger combos. But it's a real nice addition to help you both optimize and make your combos more consistent, that one, I think. Oof. There we go. So, I hope that's helped, guys. There's some real good tips in there, but majority of these are, again, for advanced players. Any questions, any queries, just please shout, and I'll do my best to help. And yeah, have fun. Let me know what, how you get on. And um, yeah, enjoy. So guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you soon. Take care.